offenders and advising them how to delay the Megan's Law registration requirements. This act jeopardizes all of our children. Then he admits hiding it from the public and says it was just a way to boost his popularity on Google. And that is why Crime Victims United is here today. In the state of California, we are facing the early release of criminals, convicted sex offenders statewide. The last thing we need in California at any level of government is someone like Sean Nelson, whose law firm advertises to convicted sex offenders and then hides it from the public. Orange County needs leaders that stand up for victims, not hide how they put out a Google rankings above the safety of our families and our children. Helping convicted sex offenders to evade registration puts all of us and all of our children at serious risk, and it is despicable. The public has a right to know about Sean Nelson and his despicable act of helping sex offenders and lying to you, the public. He needs to come clean and explain why he hit his website solicitations to sex offenders. Thank you for being here this afternoon, and at this time I'm happy to take any questions. I agree. We, people have fought and fighting over overseas now to keep us in the freedoms we have. Everybody is entitled to legal representation, but what he's not entitled to do is jeopardize the public and hide what he used to advertise and keep it away so that nobody really knows who the person is that they are elected. What do you think that a fancy war the fact that he got his new services or the fact that he was trying to hide it for purposes of his campaign? The fact that he's trying to hide it. I believe the public has a right to know when they're voting who they are voting for, what their priorities are, what their background is. And by hiding it, a citizen who may have voted for him, maybe whose child has been harmed by a sex offender, may have been voting for someone not knowing the truth that he hid it. And if he's hiding it from the public now, what is he going to do when he's elected in office? Is to protect our children. And by often to help them appeal it and they avoid registration in that time period of their appeal. The problem is, is then law enforcement doesn't have any tools or parents don't have any tools to know if a registered sex offender is around. And so then they're not subject to the requirements. They can live close to school, they can work in daycares. So that is the problem with avoiding registration. Registration is crucial. In Orange County alone, you have 19,000 registered sex offenders. And it takes a lot to be a registered sex offender. It's a certain level of crime that gets you. And so it's very, very important. And that hiding the fact that he was helping people avoiding registration is hiding the fact for the public that he was helping people um, to put their children in harm's way. Can you say as well your name for us, please? Sure. It's Nina Salarno Ashford, N I N A S A L A R N O A S H M O R D. Thank you very much.